Greetings, Pastor Kellen Brooks here. Beautiful day out here. The Lord is just favoring us with some great weather. And uh, it is time for our season of prayer. You know, Psalm 23 says that God restores our souls. He makes us to lie down in green pastures. And I believe that as we just become part of nature, get out with nature, water, trees, grass, that uh, it is restorative to us, not only to our bodies, but also to our spirits. And so I find great pleasure in taking time to pray out here by the water, out in the neighborhood. And, you know, uh, one of my neighbors shared a dream with me the other day. And she was saying how uh, in the dream, she was outside and he said this SUV pulled up with some people in it. And they got out the car and said one of them was walking behind her house. The other one went into my garage and she said, hey, what are you doing? That's Pastor Kellen's house and, and he's not there. She said the person responded to him, I'm from another dimension. That person came and touched her on her back. She had been having back pain in real life said in the dream the person touched her back she said the pain just went away and when she woke up the pain had significantly decreased and she said you know pastor we got angels in our neighborhood I believe that I believe that angels are all around us but I believe that God has assigned an angel to where you are and that favor blessings and the word you need to hear to strengthen and encourage your life is going to come through that angel I'm, I'm just glad that God thinks about us and that God has us on his mind. And we're going to take a few moments to pray uh, and seek the face of the Lord. So if you would, go ahead and take this moment to share the video. Take this moment to let somebody know that it's prayer time. And as we always do, go ahead and put your comments uh, in the bottom. And then that way, uh, those that are looking on will be able to pray uh, for you and pray with you. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and, and do that right now and we're gonna dive into prayer. Um, today, the, the prayer focus that I wanna uh, look at, I wanna take a passage of scripture and really use that to guide our prayer this evening. And it is uh, the story of Joseph. I've been preaching from that passage for the last several weeks. And so I wanna use that passage as our template for prayer today praying for our families praying for our relationships uh, praying for just where we find ourselves in life uh, we find some difficulties in life but God can even use that and God's present in that um, even our promotions and our elevations so much stuff God did in the life of Joseph uh, that I believe we can use as material to help guide our prayer today and so I'm going to be using uh, that story and that passage as the foundation and the guide uh, for our prayers today. So let's go ahead and, and plug in the prayer. Go ahead, share that video, and let's, let's begin to pray. Father, I thank you today. Uh, one that you've given us this day, you have allowed us to come before your presence and to pray. I thank you, Lord God, uh, for the beautiful weather. I thank you, Father, for the beautiful people that you're allowing me to connect with today. God, I thank you for the gift and the privilege to be able to pray. God, you don't owe us anything, but Lord, I'm thankful that you have set up this time in this space uh, for us to pray and for us to seek your face. So Lord, I thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for this invitation. Thank you for a mind to seek you. Thank you for a mind uh, to want to pray, Lord. And we give you all glory, honor, and praise for this time. We thank you, Lord, that you have sent your son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins, to save us, to cleanse us. I thank you, Father God, that you have put in motion, even before the foundation of the earth, an opportunity for us to be saved and to become children of God. So Lord, we thank you for salvation that's found in your son. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you touched our hearts and you spoke to us and we responded to the voice. And we pray for those that have yet to respond to the voice, who have yet to say yes to the Lord. Lord, we thank you for salvation, for the loss today. Lord God, I thank you for the book of Genesis, the story of Joseph, and Lord, we use that today to guide our time of prayer. 
And Father God, I thank you, Lord, that you, you called people out of darkness. You called them out of obscurity and used them for greatness. Lord, I thank you for even how you called Jacob. Lord, away from his family, uh, away from, from what he knew. God, you used him, Lord, despite all of his mess ups and his mistakes and his blatant and egregious sins. Father, you called him, you used him, you cleaned him up, Father God, and you made out of him a great nation. Lord God, I pray for those today who feel counted out because of their past, because of what they've done, because of where they've been. Lord, I pray today that you would touch their hearts. Let them know, Father God, that you are able to use them. For we know that all things work together for the good. I thank you, Lord God, that you're able to use them and give them a brand new start. For you said in your word, if any man be in Christ, if any woman be in Christ, they are new creatures. Old things have passed away and behold, all things have become new. So Lord God, thank you for, uh, for makeovers, Lord God. Thank you for do-overs, Lord. I know we can't go back and change our past, but Lord God, we can start afresh right now for a brand new future. So I pray for that person today, Lord God, who, who, who has that, that sense of uh, condemnation. They have that sense of shame and guilt because of what has taken place. But Lord God, I thank you that through repentance, God, we're able to turn away from the past and move forward in the newness of life. So we praise you for that today. Lord God, I thank you that even in that story, Lord, Rachel couldn't have children and, 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 and there was rivalry and she, she felt that she was counted out and she was left out, Father. And in very little sense, Lord, I pray for those, uh, God, who are grieving not being able to have children. Lord, I'm praying for that, that woman today. Uh, maybe she got that report from the doctor that she won't be able to bear children. Lord, maybe she uh, heard that there is a, a condition in her body that is going to prevent her from being able to conceive. But God, I pray that you would turn the situation around. Lord, I pray that you would touch that woman, touch her in her spirit. Lord, touch her in her physical body. Lord, I pray that you would send healing and wholeness. God, I, I rebuke any condition or any disease, Lord God, that would work against um, that woman's wholeness. I thank you, Father, that you're going to bless those to be able to conceive. Lord, maybe some women watching today, they feel like the time is running out. But Lord God, I thank you for encouraging their heart. And Father, we realize that there are some that are not going to have children. And Lord God, we grieve with them today. We weep with them today, Lord, and we pray, Father God, that you would help them to find purpose outside or beyond physically having children. Lord, let them know that there is influence, there's a purpose on their life, that they can still be impactful, that they can still mother, that they can still pour into the lives of those that are younger and nurture those Lord, who need mother figures in their lives. Lord, we don't dismiss their pain. We pray, Father God, that you be present in the pain. And God, maybe there are those, Lord, that the time has already passed and, and they lament that moment. Father God, be with them in their weeping and in their grieving. But Lord, turn their sorrow into joy. Turn their mourning into dancing. Father God, give them hope and, and let them know, Father, that you've got plans for their lives. You've got greatness for their lives. You still want to use them to impact nations. And so we pray today for those. Lord God, I pray even now, Father, for those of us, Lord God, that may be the youngest, may be the least, may be in a space where we are looked over, even despised. I pray, God, for those that are oppressed, because of the envy and jealousy of others. Lord God, even as Joseph uh, was sold and kidnapped and thrown in the pit by his own brothers because of the favor that was on his life. Father God, I pray for those 
Lord, who are experiencing any level of oppression, demonization. Father God, I pray for anybody, Lord God, today that is watching, that is experiencing uh, just low points in life at the hands of other people. God, we pray for the disinherited today. We pray for the disenfranchised today. We pray for those, Lord God, that are persecuted for righteousness sake. But Lord God, we thank you that in the midst of this, your favor is on our lives. We pray, Lord God, for your hand of protection being on us. God, even in moments where it seems like we're just completely looked over. Lord, a nation grieves, a people grieves, Lord, in light of the Breonna Taylor case. Lord, we see the injustices that are taking place. But God, I thank you that you, you can even use this for your glory. Lord God, I pray for those that are crying out and that are speaking loud. I pray, God, that their voices uh, would be amplified, that you would remo remove the fear and instill boldness so that we can say what needs to be said and not be afraid of their faces. Lord God, even when Joseph was thrown into the pit, God, it was Reuben who told his brothers, don't kill him. He had a plan to save Joseph, but he wanted to do it secretly. He didn't move on the moment and the moment was lost. Lord God, we come against the Reuben spirit and syndrome today. The, the spirit that says, I have the power to change it, but I don't want to change it. Or I have the power to change it, but I don't want to upset the cart. Lord, we come against that spirit today. And Lord God, I pray that we would take the boldness that you've given us, take the voice that we have, take the resources that we have to lift up those that have been let down. God, I pray for nations, for kings, for... God, I pray for those, for kings, for monarchs, for presidents, for prime ministers, Lord God, for anybody that is in a position of authority. Lord, even those that don't even have uh, seats of authority on a grand scale, but they have influence, Lord God, let them use their influence for your glory. Let them use their influence, Father God, to lift up those that are let down. Let them rejoice with those that rejoice. Let them weep with those that weep. Father God, let them lift it up, as your word says, those that are on the trash heap and set them with princes. Lord God, we won't be quiet, we won't be silent. But Lord God, we will be the ones to lift up those that are down. And Lord, as believers, help us to lift up those that don't know you. Help us, Father God, to be that lifeline to that person that is a sinner. Help us to evangelize, to share our faith to use our influence to expand the kingdom of God. Help us, Lord God, to use our platform to promote holiness, to promote purity, God, so that we can edify those that are believers and those that are young in the faith. I thank you, Father God, for giving us to be a peculiar people, a special people, a unique people that is called by your name, called out of darkness into your light. And Lord, help us to show forth your kingdom in all that we do. Father God, I, I bless you, Father for even how you took Joseph from the pit into Potiphar's house. You protected him, God, and you allowed him to rise up and to have favor and to be trusted even while in captivity. You gave him favor with people who didn't know him. You gave him favor with people who weren't his ethnicity. You gave him favor with people who had wealth and who had riches. Father, you, you granted Joseph favor. And Lord God, I pray for the person who still finds himself stuck, still finds himself, there's, there's issues in life, there's circumstances surrounding them, but Lord God, promote them even while in the circumstances. Lord, there are some that are waiting for perfect moments. They're waiting for things to be uh, every T crossed, every I dotted. But Lord, speak to their hearts today. Let them know, God, that you can promote them even with the things going on around them. God, I thank you right now, Lord, that there may be storms around them, but there doesn't have to be a storm within them today. I thank you, Lord God, for giving us favor. 
with those in leadership, giving us favor with those with resources. Thank you for giving us favor with leaders of our community. Give us favor with God and humanity. I, I pray the word of the Lord, God, that says that Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and humanity. And Lord God, I thank you today for the increase of favor. Lord, I praise you, Father God, for giving us the fortitude and the spiritual maturity to resist temptation. You taught us how to pray and you said, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And Lord God, even in the place of promotion, even in the place of Potiphar's house, Father Joseph ran away from temptation. Even as he was tempted by Potiphar's wife to betray his God, to betray his master, and Lord God, even to betray his convictions. Lord God, he resisted day after day and went away from temptation. Lord, and I pray today that you would give us the wherewithal to say no to temptation. Lord God, many different things befall us. We all may not have the same struggle. Lord God, there are different things that come our way. But Father God, I bless you today for helping us to resist temptation. Your word says that no man is tempted of God. God tempts no person. But we are tempted when we are drawn away by our own lust and enticed. So Father God, we pray today that you change our appetites. God, remove from us that hunger and that thirst for unrighteousness lord god change our appetites today let us not be entangled again with the yoke of bondage but lord god give us complete freedom give us complete deliverance and lord i thank you today for helping us to conquer that thing that has been gnawing at us and knocking at our door Lord, I bless you that before this year is out, something that we came into the year struggling with, we won't be struggling when we leave. We declare that today. Freedom from the enticement and yielding to temptation. Lord, we know that temptations will come. They came to Jesus. But God, I thank you that you will, with the temptation, make a way of escape. Father God, when we see the door of escape, let us walk through the door. Lord, keep us from tempting ourselves and pushing ourselves to the limit to see how much we can take. Holy Spirit, give us that mind that when you open the door, we walk through the door. Lord God, there's sexual temptations, financial temptations, temptations to lie, temptations to cheat, temptations to deceive. Lord God, there, there's temptations that come in all shapes and all forms. But no matter what it is, thank you for the Holy Spirit, the Holy One living on the inside of us. Thank you, Father God, for giving us deliverance. Thank you, Lord God, for changing our nature, changing our minds. Thank you for giving us freedom. Thank you for delivering us in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord God, I pray that you reward your people for their faithfulness. Reward them for how they've been faithful. God, for how they have been pouring out and investing in themselves and investing in others and doing the things that they know to do. And Lord God, it seems like they do it and they see no results. But Lord God, thank you for the encouragement. Thank you for rewarding them. You said, cast not away your confidence for it has a great recompense of reward, a great payment of reward. And Lord God, let us not throw away our confidence and faith in you because we don't see physical results. But Lord God, begin to reward. Begin to just show us, to let us know, hey, I'm with you. I'm watching you. We thank you for it. Lord, we thank you right now for, for the prayer, even prayed by Abraham's servant. Lord, send now prosperity. Send it to your people. Prosper us in our bodies, in our minds, in our souls. Prosper us financially. Prosper us in resources. Prosper us, Lord God, in everything that pertains to us because of our faithfulness. And we bless you for that today. Lord God, we, we thank you, God, for even as Joseph was in prison, God, he encountered people whose dreams 
he interpreted and gave them a message and a word that gave them direction for the rest of their life. Lord God, I pray that wherever we find ourselves, that we will be willing to work on other people's dreams while our dreams are still in process. Lord, help us to be able to work on other people's goals and other people's visions and the, and the very things, Lord God, that are going to cause them to soar and be propelled forward. Lord, let us not be so self-centered that we think it's all about us. But Lord God, as we are able to do good, let us do good, as your word says, especially to those of the household of faith. So we thank you today, Lord God, for a spirit of humility that would cause us to work and to help others while we ourselves are building. Lord, I pray for that entrepreneur today. I pray for that person to start in the business. I pray for that person with the ministry, that person with the community organization, that person with that cause that they're trying to, to make happen. Holy Spirit, let us find it in our hearts to support and to push others as we ourselves are building. God, even as Joseph did. And Lord, as he interpreted those dreams, it opened up the door for him to interpret Pharaoh's dream, which became his gateway out of prison and out of poverty. Lord, I bless you that as we are building and helping others, Lord, that you are touching the hearts of people that are going to build and to help us. Lord, you gave us a promise in your word. You said, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over will people give into your bosom. God, I thank you for the running over season. I thank you right now for the overflow season. We declare it and decree it in the name of Jesus. God, that every seed that has sown, you're giving us a harvest. Every seed that has sown, been sown, Lord, you're opening up the windows of heaven. You are pouring out blessings that we won't even have room enough to receive. God, I thank you for the overflow and what you're giving to us. But Lord God, I thank you for the overflow and even what we're giving to others. Yes, Lord, I'm praying for radical generosity over every single person that is watching today. I pray, Father God, that they will give like they've never given before. Lord God, they'll pour out like they've never poured out before. Re rebuke the stingy spirit, the miserly spirit. God, the spirit to hoard, remove it from us. Give us a spirit of generosity. God, even as the fountain is flowing behind me, let it be that type of flow in our lives. I would that somebody would just type flow in the comment section. God, let there be flow in our lives. Nothing stuck. Nothing blocked up. Nothing obstructed. Lord, I thank you for the flow. I thank you right now for the flow. Lord, where there's flow, there's life. God, where there's flow, there's movement. Where there's flow, there's transition and change. Lord God, nothing can be in stagnant waters. Nothing can grow in stagnant waters. God, nothing healthy and productive can be in stagnant waters. But God, I thank you for flow. Flow in our relationships, flow in our finances, flow in our spiritual life, flow in every area of our lives, everything that pertains to us, flow in our families. God, I thank you for flow. Yes, Lord, I thank you right now, God, for the rivers of your blessing flowing through us. Thank you for making us the blessing. God, some of us are looking for blessings and there's nothing wrong with that, but Lord, I thank you for the blessing in the mirror. Thank you, God, that you're using us to be a channel of blessings to other people. God, you did it for Joseph. Lord, he, he gave a word. He didn't promote himself, but he promoted God. He said that God is the giver of dreams. He told Pharaoh the application for which he should do to save Egypt and the nations from famine and destruction. And Lord God, he did not elect himself. But Pharaoh elected him and said, you're going to be the person over my house. You're going to rule this place. Only in throne will I be greater than you. There's nobody as wise and discreet as you. Father God, I thank you that as we are promoting you and pushing your agenda, Lord God, that others will be touched to lift us. That others will be touched to promote us. Lord God, let there not be an envious bone in our body. You said jealousy is rottenness as the bone, is rottenness to the bones. And God, I thank you today that like Pharaoh, we'll be able to promote and push and lift up others, Lord God. 
Bobby God, I thank you for a season when we're all winning. Where we're all winning. Remove the competitive spirit that would seek to tear down. We thank you for the healthy competition that causes us to grow and to innovate and be creative. But Lord, remove the negative competition that just seeks to be better than the next person. Lord, let us be better than we were before. Thank you right now for putting us in a position, Father. Lord God, that would save and deliver other people. Thank you, Father God, for the, the increase in the wisdom, for preservation. Father, you gave Joseph unusual wisdom and he told the people how it will work, how much money to save, how much grain to save and to put aside for the salvation of the people. And Lord, because he did it, Lord God, they had an abundance and a surplus and were able to save other nations. God, I thank you today, Lord God, for financial wisdom and insight, wisdom for preservation, wisdom for saving, wisdom for helping communities, even as you gave to Joseph. And he saved nations, Lord God. Father God, I thank you right now for nation saving ability. Thank you, Father, that you're putting us in a place right now where we can be agents of change and agents of deliverance right where we are. Lord God, you blessed Joseph. You raised him up. You gave him a wife, you gave him a family and you used him to save his family. I pray today, Father God, for an individual in their family that would be the source for reconciliation. I'm praying, Lord God, for an individual in your family that you will be the source for bringing your family together that you'll enjoy the holidays again. You'll enjoy birthdays again. You'll, you'll enjoy coming together as a family again. God, I pray that prayer. Lord, you see the fragmentation in families. God, you see those that haven't talked for years. Lord God, even as you did it for Joseph, reunited his brothers. God, there was forgiveness. Lord, I pray that same prayer. I thank you today, Lord God, that you are going to cause great joy and great peace and I thank you Father that you are the mender of broken things you are the repair of the breach we praise you for that Lord many more things that we can pray but we thank you today for hearing our prayer today I pray Lord God that we be a light for Jesus this week I pray that you would be glorified and magnified let this be the greatest week of our lives Lord we've got deadlines we've got things to do things to meet and I pray Father God that you would help us to meet those things, remove every spirit of being overwhelmed, remove every spirit of hurt, remove every spirit of discouragement, give us your spirit, give us your peace, lift us up, Father God. And in turn, we'll lift you up. We give your name all the glory, all the honor, all the praise. It belongs to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God and amen. Thank you for joining us for this time of prayer. I pray that this be your greatest week yet. Be encouraged, and we'll see you in the next time of prayer. All right? Peace and blessings.